Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Nora to explain here, bring you guys another Boruto to two blue vortex discussion. Today I want to talk to you guys about something I've read down in the comment section of the chapter review, which is this idea that obviously Boruto's grown stronger. We all pretty much agree upon that, but there are a lot of people saying that they think Kawaki has actually gotten weaker during the time skip that took place over the last three years. The reasoning that I've seen people say is that they're alarmed at the fact that Kawaki was caught off guard by the claw grimes and was forced to use his Karma Seal to deal with one of the Claw Grimes, whereas Boruto, on the other hand, did not have any trouble slicing apart the Claw Grimes and is clearly strong enough that he feels he can take on Code by himself, assisted, and kill Code unassisted. So, in today's video, I want to weigh in on this conversation with my honest thoughts on the subject matter, similar to what I did in the Sarda video, breaking down why the fan concern existed with Sarda and her Sharingan and why I think that it wasn't warranted. I'm going to do the same thing here with this video video and like usual i'll probably poke fun at kawaki in the title and the thumbnail like saying something like kawaki can't get it up or kawaki's dinky level or something like that just to poke fun at the people upset over my thumbnail so starting off with it i think that this is fans jumping the gun a little bit kawaki's actions in the new chapter in my opinion they aren't enough of a reason to have cause for a concern that he's weaker and i do think it's a major stretch to say that he's weaker than he was at the end of Boruto and Arts and Next Generations. I think that that is a gross overreaction. I do understand why some of you guys are saying it. I just personally disagree. When we see Boruto deal with the Claw Grimes, he's chopping them down with ease, not using the Karma Seal, taking out several of them at once. And then when you see Kawaki, you got people saying he looked every bit unoppressive as nobody expected him to look after the time skip. Everyone thought he was going to come out looking like an absolute savage. And instead, the guy's coming out looking like he's struggling. He doesn't necessarily come across like he's going to be the rival to the main character in the eyes of some people. However, I think there are some major things here that are being overlooked in the situation that are a bit unfair to Kawaki. As of right now, we don't know if the Claw Grimes Boruto was taken down, had the Rinnegan or not. None of them have opened their eye like the one that we saw Kawaki fighting against, so we don't know for certain if they don't have it or not until we can say that definitively, that all the Claw Grimes don't have a Rinnegan and that there are tears to the Claw Grimes in that respect. I don't think that we can hold Boruto's ease at dispatching the Claw Grimes against Kawaki to use that as say an anti-feat. Kawaki was clearly dealing with the stronger Claw Grimes than the ones that Boruto did. The addition of a Rinnegan isn't some small detailed overlook because we know that the Rinnegan by itself gives a pretty nasty amp and chakra to a point that Obito despite having a body halfway made up of Hashirama cells and Zetsu being part of his body was unable to maintain more than one Rinnegan at a time and it's because the chakra nearly drove him insane by his own words because his body couldn't withstand it unlike Nagato who had enormous chakra reserves even for an Uzumaki and a strong life force could withstand it. Neither of them were the original owners of the eye but one had a noticeable more difficult time with the Rinnegan than the other did. Those Claw Grimes Kawaki fought were clearly stronger than the ones that Boruto was bodying. That being said while I don't think that Kawaki's grown weaker I do think that if you want to have the conversation that he's gotten rusty i think that there is some narrative that you could actually point to to actually make that argument if you will i think this very well could be possible that kawaki might have mastered using ishiki's abilities yet gotten rusty during that three-year time skip both things are possible in that sense he would technically be stronger than he was at the end of boards and arts next generations but at the same time his combat sharpness would be rusty we saw as much from the man that kawaki idolized so much to a point that he was obsessed with them, Naruto Uzumaki. By the events of Naruto Gaiden, set 14 years after the fourth Ninja War ended, Naruto had grown stronger than he was 14 years prior, but his combat skill had grown rusty to a point that Kurama was giving him crap for it. Whereas Sasuke was someone who was constantly alive and adapting, whereas Sasuke was someone who was constantly active and training and constantly pushing himself, still looked razor sharp like you would have expected him. Naruto, on the other hand, Naruto had gotten rusty all throughout boruto naruto next generations we've actually seen characters mention that kawaki's time in konoha has actually made him soft and to be honest even the way that he conducted himself in combat it was actually different there was a ferocious edge to his nature when he fought before the moves were more swift and calculated they weren't attacks meant to inflict damage on the enemy 
they were attacks that are meant to do critical damage, which is different and potentially kill the enemy, which is a major difference. You saw that on full display that this was a child who was raised by car, trained in combat, not with the intent to subdue the enemy and use lethal techniques as a last option. Instead, he was raised to kill the enemy and keep attacking until all the threats were killed. However, during that time in Konoha, training underneath Naruto, it had changed his approach to combat in a way that was noticeable to the people that actually trained him prior to that. Delta called him out on the change when she was fighting against Naruto, and so too did Boro, to the point that Boro was mocking him, and even to a degree, Code was mocking him as well. Kawaki had lost a little bit of his edge. He wasn't sharp like he was before. Even when he regained Ishiki's karma seal and was fighting Momoshiki possessing Boruto's body, while there were moves that were more focused, you could see that as the battle was going on, he was regaining some of that ferocious edge, that he lost when we first saw him because he was leaning more so into those destructive impulses in order to best protect Naruto from Otsutsuki level threats. I do think it's possible that some of his combat instincts might have actually dulled during this three years. He wasn't in constant life or death battles like Boruto was for that time period, nor was he getting trained by someone like Sasuke to further hone his skills. Sure, Karma gives the user a millennia of combat experience of the Otsutsuki, so there's no mistake in that version 2 Karma Kawaki is not going to have rust on him by default because of what Karma actually does to him, but I've compared Karma to Keke Genkai for a reason. All it does is give you an edge, but someone can outwork and overtake, regardless as if you have Keke Genkai or regardless as if you have the Karma seal, which is what we're seeing right now being set up with boards on Kawaki. Kawaki has regressed to what he was prior. He's going back to his instincts to use ninja tech in battle and use Karma in battle to win his fights using that power instead of building up his own power boruto on the other hand was clearly someone who's added to his own personal repertoire which in turn only further sharpens the figurative blade known as boruto zamaki when he begins to start using his karma seal and taps into momoshiki's combat experience that coupled with his own strength as a shinobi might be the difference maker we got a glimpse of what happens when you blend Momoshiki's combat experience with Boruto's own abilities as a ninja. Momoshiki took the compression Rasengan and made it into the Rasengan, shooting it off like a bullet to get around the drawback of the jutsu because it caused physical damage when it gets used as a typical Rasengan that you slam into somebody. Based on the fact that Boruto appears to be using a brand new Rasengan, one that is forming around his body instead of his palm, that could be an example of what we're seeing here. Boruto applying something that Momoshiki's experience provided to him and applying his own ninjutsu arsenal to it. We're seeing what happens when you have a genius given a thousand years of combat experience and knowledge and they're pushed into a corner where they're forced to evolve. Boruto has a hunger and a method of hard work that Kawaki doesn't. A really good way to think about it would be to think, what if Minato had the karma seal for all of Minato's genius? Imagine if Minato also had a thousand years worth of knowledge automatically programmed into his head because of karma. Can you imagine how dangerous Minato is? That's a very similar approach to take for Kawaki, the same way that in Jujutsu Kaisen, without going into spoilers, Toji Fushiguro was someone that characters said would be Maki when Maki fully realized her potential. That's what you could expect with Boruto. Fully realized potential with Boruto is what Minato would have been if he had the Kama Seal. Kawaki ended up Boruto Naruto Next Generations knowing that he was strong enough to kill Boruto. He'd done it once before and he had the upper hand before he was forced to retreat at the end of Boruto Naruto Next Generations. He might have been overconfident in his thought that he could defeat Code without limiters, but Kawaki also didn't have full manifestation of Ishiki's powers, yet he clearly has that now. It's not crazy to think knowing he could kill two people he was targeting was enough to make him lose some of his edge in fighting when he isn't using karma. I don't see Kawaki sparring with Damon. I can see him sparring with Mitsuki just because Mitsuki wants to grow stronger, but I don't see him sparring against someone like Damon during that three year time skip. I could be mistaken, but that's just my opinion on that part. Notice how he got caught off guard and dropped when he was in his base with no karma seal and no dojutsu cut on. Similar to why I said I think that Sardo is conserving chakra. I think Kawaki is conserving chakra as well, not using karma, not using his dojutsu. I think it does lend itself to that point. He spent the last three years relying on the power that Karma gives him when it's being fully used and the Otsutsuki powers that he can use in his base, like say flight and even using Ishiki's dojutsu abilities in base. 
without the need to actually cut on the comma seal. That's a very dangerous position to be in if we're being completely honest because it's reeking of content. He's low key made the same mistake that Naruto did, thinking that he's so much stronger than everyone else who could be viewed as a threat to him outside of Damon, obviously, that he's slacked up for a time. Damon isn't necessarily someone that Kawaki's worried about because Damon doesn't pose a threat to Naruto. If Damon did pose as a threat to Naruto, then you could see Kawaki using Damon as a bar. Boruto, on the other hand, that's just the opposite approach to his path of power, regardless as to what some of the disingenuous idiots are gonna tell you over on any Twitter, over on Reddit, Facebook, Instagram, even some of my fellow content creators here on YouTube still spout that nonsense that Boruto doesn't work for his power. That was the whole point of the Momoshiki arc, to make a character who was so smart that he could find the quickest path towards power and towards the results and take that character to a point where they aren't afraid to slow down and do the hard work in order to properly gain the power because as we're told, he skips directly to the end game and so that leads to him not having a grasp on the fundamentals. It's a gift and a curse. Even with the Kama Seal, Boruto didn't learn to use that power overnight if we're being honest. Honest. He worked at it and he clearly worked on upgrading himself during the time skip in ways that don't just rely on the karma seal, which might end up being the difference here. It's an updated take on the prodigy born with talent versus the one who embodies hard work. Kawaki fills that role just like the proud and arrogant versions of Shinobi, like the younger Sasuke and the younger Neji, making Sasuke realize that shiny red eyes don't mean anything. You can still get Christmas canceled on you by the right person. And and Naruto humbled Neji by making Neji realize that Hugo lives might matter, but this uppercut don't discriminate between main branch and side branch. Boruto might be born a genius, but he's clearly being slotted as someone like Rock Lee, someone like someone like Naruto, a person going down that path of hard work. Again, Boruto's a genius, Boruto has karma, but he's not relying on karma. He's actually putting in the work in other areas, and that's gonna be the difference. I'm curious to know how you guys view Boruto and Kawaki right now. Which of the two do you think is stronger, and do you think that Kawaki's making a mistake by being over-reliant on Ninja Tech and on his karma seal? Why do you think that over, click here to watch my Jujutsu Kaisen Chapter 236 review. Thank you.